talk about vocal hooks and memorable melodies. And um, I've got this friend named Tony that I used to write with all the time. He's a lyricist. And he really takes lyrics very, very seriously. And, you know, he's really, really deep in that. He's always, you know, reading about lyric writing and whatever. And I used to pick on him and say, man, you know, if the, you know, if the melody's strong enough, it really doesn't even matter what you say. So he would get so upset. But I was going back to some of these songs, um, just some kind of iconic classic songs, and thinking about some of these melodies that pull you right in. Um, for example, um, the song My Girl. You know, just that big... I guess you say What can make me feel this way My girl, my girl, my girl And you can be at any wedding, you can be anywhere, and that happens. It's just that big... I love, love, love. It's a vocal hook, it's a melody that just sticks in your head, um, and... Super memorable. Everybody wants to sing along with it. Um, another one I thought of was uh, uh, Take a Walk on the Wild Side. You know, everybody does that. It doesn't say anything. It doesn't matter what it says. But and I, To be honest with you, I can't tell you what 90% of the verses of that song say. I just remember, you know, when he tells me the girl say, and you're right in there. Uh, another one that does that same thing is Brown Eyed Girl. So many, so many lyrics in that song. You know, sha la 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 ti da and you're in there. That's a, that's a memorable melodic and vocal hook. Everybody can sing. Um, a new one um, that struck me as just a, a purely melodic hook um, uh, on, on a melody is, is Katy Perry's song Roar, which the whole thing is so hooky anyway but um, such an odd, interesting melody on the actual hook word on roar. That roar, oh, 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 And I think I might have mentioned last time, I've got a buddy um, who's friends with the guy who dates Bonnie McKee, who, who writes a lot of these songs with, with um, Katie, and he had told her that they spent like a week, like five, six, seven days just on the chorus melody of Roar. Just kind of like breaking it down and going, man, is it a 10? Are we at an 8? Do we, you know, is it hitting on all cylinders? And and from what I understand from his conversation, that, that melody on the word Roar came late in that week. That was not originally the melody. And they kind of worked on it and then they ended up landing on that. So that's a really, really interesting thing. It's, a, it's an odd melody and something that kind of sticks in your head and it's real anthemic. Another little odd thing a vocal hook quirk that hit me was um, uh, Little Richard's Tutti Fruity. You know, it just kind of repeats the same words, but that, that wop, bop, a loop, bop, a wop, bamboo kind of thing. You know, what a, I don't even have any idea. I didn't do any research on it um, for what it meant or where it came from. But it just struck me as it's a, it's a, melo, it's a vocal hook. It's a vocal hook. It's not about a, any kind of riff or anything. It's just a, you know, the whole chorus goes and then bam, that happens. So those are just some things to keep in mind as you're, as you're working on your tempo songs. Um, memorable vocal hooks, memorable melodies, especially in choruses, those things that everybody wants to sing along. Um, and, and each of those songs kind of do that. Um, oh gosh, what's another one I was thinking of? Um, uh, Sweet Caroline. I get so tickled at all the people who do the ba 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 at ball games or whatever. Those are hooks, man. They just stick in your head. So, um, tempo hits often combine multiple vocal hooks in, con in conjunction with one another. Um, I was thinking about trying to think of songs that would have maybe a couple of things that work together, that like played off each other. I thought about the Cool in the Gang song, Celebration, you know, which is a big, big song. So you've got that celebrate good times come on and then the lead line it's a celebration da. and then you know forget all the music how hooky that is but uh, again another one of those songs that's lasted the you know that stood the test of time years down the road absolutely there's a million of them and, and the song actually doesn't change chords very often you know um Da, 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 da. It's time to come together up you Everybody 
everybody knows yeah. that too. It's full of them, chock full of them, the whole song. And 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 look, the key thing for you for you to remember about that, it doesn't mean that you have to necessarily write that song or that kind of song. But there's a reason that song now, whether it's graduation parties, birthday parties, weddings, whatever it is, that song is played all the time. Super Bowl parties, whatever. Um, so again, just helping you to kind of hone in and, uh, and make these things work to the best of your ability.